here is I, I used to hit it like this, like straight on, and it would just create a mess. So now I hit it with this part, kind of on an angle, and it just falls right in. Gone, see? No mess, nothing happened. Okay, so at the end of the day, it's just a knock box. There's nothing special about it. It's, I can't even believe I made a review about this, but one thing that I look at before I buy anything is I look at the reviews. And obviously the good reviews make you wanna buy it, but then the bad reviews really give you some doubt. So I wanna go through some of those bad reviews and just debunk them completely because I think this knockbox is worth it. All right, so this one right here says, got this for home use, it is well designed. I appreciate the firm knock bar that it is still resilient and it looks to be infin infinitely durable. Okay. It is, however, nearly as large as the Expresso machine. <clears throat> A bit overkill for the kitchen. <laughs> okay, first of all, there's no X in espresso. Right off the bat, you know this review is highly questionable because, yeah. And no, you saw earlier in the review that this thing is not as big as the espresso machine. It's, I, I mean, that's ridiculous. All right, next review. <laughs> All right, I purchased this to go with my Breville Barista Pro Touch. The knock box is made of fine materials, but it's brushed aluminum, so it doesn't match the brush themes of the other Breville products. It really messes with my OCD, but I'll keep it. Okay, yeah, skip. Okay, this one's really long, but I'll read the last couple sentences. Because of the angle of the top and the placement of the knock bar, the ground still splatter even if half full. Only now they're landing on floors and counters. I don't hate it, but I feel the front is too low to catch the grounds, and oftentimes the basket pops out of the porta filter, so I have to touch it anyway. I also think these work better when you can strike the full length of the box, and the way this is shaped, you can't. Okay, first of all, the bar is placed perfectly. It's not in the center, it's offset towards you, so there's room for the puck to fall in. The ground still splatter even if half fall. Okay, first of all, you're not hitting it right, which I covered already. And half full, I mean, dude, even half full, there's so much space in this thing. Like, And now they're <laughs> landing on the floors and the counters. Yeah, I was uh, hitting my puck out and the puck just flew and, you know, hit my dog in the head. What is going on, man? Okay, next. I like the idea of the knock box matching my espresso machine, but the quality just doesn't stand up to daily use. After a few months, the bar started showing signs of wear and then finally broke in half. Dude, how hard are you hitting this thing? <laughs> it's not coming out. Okay, I'm pretty sure this thing's not gonna break in half, even after daily use, according to this guy, but. The quality just doesn't stand up to daily use. Maybe if you didn't blast it with all your strength, it would stand up to daily use. <laughs> man, dude, I gotta say, some of these reviews are just hilarious, man. Okay, this says, uh, this would have been an ideal product, but this is a huge knockbox. Probably more suited to someone drinking 10 cups per day <laughs> or a small office. This filled up most of my kitchen. If you have a huge kitchen, then maybe it would still work. <laughs> He filled up most of his kitchen. Dude, how big is your kitchen, bro? Like the size of a, a drawer or something? <laughs> like, filled up most of my kitchen. Really? It barely took up any space on my counter. I mean, goodness. Probably more suited to someone drinking 10 cups per day. First of all, I don't think anybody drinks 10 cups per day. And even if you did have 10 pucks, that probably wouldn't even be halfway full. Maybe it would be halfway full. If you have a huge kitchen, then maybe it would still work. Maybe. If the kitchen was huge, maybe it would work. <laughs> uh, just convert the whole house to a kitchen because this knockbox is massive. Honestly, the only negative review I think I borderline agree with is this one where it says for $30 it is pricey. I mean, I think the build quality is phenomenal. Like every part of it is high quality. So I'm not sure how much it should be priced. I mean, in comparison to some of the other ones that are actually like the mini size, I think 30 would be the right price. I think I paid 40 for it, but maybe even 25 would be nice. And then that smaller one should be like 10 or 15. I mean, it really is just a knockbox. but. So yeah, as you can see, most of these reviews 
are ridiculous. I mean, there, there's a reason why 86% of the reviews are five stars because it is a great, great knockbox. So basically in short, it is, uh, it is bigger than most, but I think it's the perfect size. And then second of all, you just gotta hit it right. Okay, you can't just hit the bar and expect everything to go in there and have a nice day. You gotta hit it on the angle, that one spot I told you, and it's gonna go perfectly. All right, guys, thanks again for watching this video. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys, and uh, please do give it a like, and definitely subscribe. I will have a few more coffee videos coming out, and then uh, we might switch it up, so stay tuned for the next one.